Hey everybody, and welcome to another video on the new BattleBots pack for the video game Robot Arena 2. So, yeah, in these videos, I typically don't, like, create, like, a main character in the video, don't typically do a video on, like, one specific bot, but that is not going to be the case for this one, because this video is specifically going to be focused on one robot, and you can probably tell based on the title of this video who that robot is and all that stuff so but before we get started here huge thank you to charlie who is the creator of the pack as well as the dominus ignis for providing this thing providing lots of the robots from the 2018 season the for to play around with basically includes like new ai pack that you've been seeing lately so, some other robots and some other stuff so you kind of get the idea but but yeah, I am devoting this video to Ultimo Destructo, Swiss Army robot with four different weapons here. And I want to try out, I want to try out all four of them. Because yeah, Ultimo Destructo was a Swiss Army bot both times it was in the revived era, both in 2016 and 2018. Where at least in 2018, it had four different weapons. You got the hammer, the horizontal spinner, the vertical spinner, and the flipper right there. So... Yeah, but then I think they, I think he, I, I'm guessing those names are the names of the configuration or something, but I don't know, but I'm not that knowledgeable in Ultimo Destructo, so I have no idea whether that's the case, but the idea is, I'm gonna, this episode is, is specified for Ultimo Destructo, and the idea is each, conf, I picked out two matchups for each configuration, and we're gonna see how they perform, basically, so. Let's go ahead and get started here with the episode of this, which is debuted, which is made specifically for Ultimo Destructo. And we're going to lead it off with the hammer configuration. And the hammer configuration is going to take on Son of Waiachi, which this is going to be a hard opponent. But I chose Son of Waiachi because of how vulnerable Son of Waiachi appeared to be to hammers, at least when I had it take on Beta. So maybe that'll be the case for this thing, but... Who knows we're gonna find out i do like how charlie included like a lot of the rockets at least and with some of these configurations because like as you can see they work and stuff you'd see they could pop out and i just let son of Waiachi basically give to speed and all right some weapon on weapon action oh gosh they are taking off pieces oh we took off the ring Let's see if we take it into the rails Got a solid hold. Oh gosh, we lost the tip of the hammer. That is not good. Not a good. Like, we got a decent hold on Son of Waiachi, but. But it doesn't help it that we lost the tip of our hammer. Now let's back off. Let Son of Waiachi get out of there. Son of Waiachi definitely does not have the best AI, though, because I imagine if it was like Pori taking me on in this one, they probably would have squashed me flat already. And, oh, we got a flip on him. That's the easiest way to win this thing. We might actually get a win. It's Ultimo Destructo. And, because I'm not expecting to have a lot of success here. Because this is a, this is a, this is a robot from the 2018 pack. So, I'm not sure how compatible this is going to be with a lot of the updated robots. But, oh gosh, there's some Waiachi spinning out of control like this having a hard time hitting them with my tipless hammer. <laughs> I'm very curious if it's possible to split Ultimo Destructo in half, like what happened in the Witch Doctor fight, if you remember that fight from the 2018 season. And, and yeah. Okay, I think I'm probably just gonna back off here. Let Son of Waiachi struggle to try to self right. Very curious why the AI can't self right to Son of Waiachi, but then it is possible for me to do it at least. Probably just an issue within the AI, but. Uh, I'm gonna call it off at 20 seconds.
Okay. Alright, so some pretty reasonable success with that one at least. And definitely, definitely, and definitely performed, did a pretty solid job. But I think just flipping Son of Waiachi helped us a lot. Because, like, Son of Waiachi was able to take a piece, a couple pieces off this robot, just meaning it is vulnerable to damage. But. Let's move on. We're going to have the Horizontal Spinner of Ultimo Destructo, and it's going to take on Petunia, which we haven't seen this robot in this, and probably for good reasons. Yeah, I'm expecting between all the fights we have in this, this is probably going to be the least quality one. I could very well be wrong about this, but oh gosh. Oh boy, we gotta be very careful of that beak. Oh, we got smoke coming out of Petunia. Yeah, I don't think Ultimate Destructo would go with the Horizontal Spinner if they fought Petunia. At least, they, they might, but uh, I think they'd probably be more likely to go with the Vertical Spinner if they were to fight Petunia. But I very well could be wrong about that. But I kind of wanted to do this one because I felt because like I, there are two there are two matchups I'd rather have Ultimo fight the vertical fight with the vertical spinner config, and I want to bring Petunia out at some point and show off what Petunia can do, even if it's just the AI playing against us. And, thought this would be a reasonable matchup for it. And right now, this fight's going probably about the way I expected it to, because I... What I will admit, though, is Ultimo's weapon is spinning faster than it did in 2018, because it wasn't really that fast of a spinning weapon, and at least in the fight it got in 2018, and for probably good reasons. And I have no idea why the Crusher was in the down position. Not a lot of activity other than that we other than that that Petunia's smoking right now. So it means Ultima's wep either Petunia's a absolute tank or Or this horizontal spinner just doesn't do a lot of damage. It really could be either one, so. Maybe it's a Somebody, maybe I should challenge the Dominus Ignis to win a certain number of fights as Ultimo Destructo, since he probably does. Since yeah, he was he was he was the people that he was the person that provided the zip file that allowed me to be able to play as Ultimo Destructo, or somebody else should. I th I think it'd be interesting to see how the Dominus Ignis does. Oh gosh, we lost a wheel. Well, Petunia's Crusher can definitely do some damage. Jeez, I can. Barely turned because of this lost wheel. It crap this. That was pr some pretty late act, some pretty good action later on from Petunia. Holy crap! I can, uh, yeah, like I can barely turn, and I'm not gonna be able to hit Petunia. And holy crap! That lost wheel did a lot to me right there. And Definitely Petunia probably won that thing, but next fight, I have a flipper battle planned for this one. We're gonna have Ultimo Destructo who's gonna take on Lucky, wherever Lucky's hanging out at. But yeah, maybe myself or somebody else should challenge the Dominus Ignis to win some number of fights as Lucky. I think it'd be an interesting challenge video for him to do. Plus, he's much better RA2 than I am. Well, almost certainly. I've never played him in RA2, but and would always love to in the future. But uh, if I took a guess, I'd bet he's probably the better RA2 player. Oh, oh! Snap! Ultimo Destructo with the early out of the arena. If Lucky doesn't get back in, I think we'll go round two in this one. Because why not, at least? I, I kind of want to try to get a little more out of this fight. 
I'm surprised we got no fireworks thing. Like what like what there is for the ha on the hammer config on Ultimate Destructo for this one. Because if I remember correctly from when they used this configuration against Witch Doctor, they did include the fireworks on there, but then they didn't set them off or something before they got ripped in half in that fight. But you kind of get the idea of it. Still, that was that was pretty good. Like I didn't think Ultimo is gonna have that much power. Oh gosh. Oh boy. And Lucky wants to return the favor after that last match. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Now it's underneath Lucky. Now let's try to stay on Lucky. Yeah, not a lot of lifting power at least. So I kinda makes me wonder if that win in the that early win was almost a fluke or something. But it's kind of the purpose of doing a round two exactly, just to see how an Ultimo would perform in a round two. This robot's definitely not very maneuverable. Oh, and I'm noticing that very well amongst probably all amongst all the configurations I've used so far. Oh gosh, oh gosh, and... Jeez. Jeez, Lucky is relentless of a robot here. Me who just wants to turn? Lucky? What the heck happened right there? I might... I'm gonna need to re-watch this video after this. See what happened there. It was like... I wanna say Lucky was like... Hanging behind my backside that just went over the top of me and went out of the arena? <laughs> well... That was very interesting and... I'll call this fight off probably at... I'll call this fight off at the 50-second mark, so... Uh, the countdown... Yeah, it did, so... Okay, we're gonna call it off from here. Okay, last but not least, we're gonna use the vertical spinner configuration, where it is going to take on... <laughs> I'm an idiot for doing this. Axe backwards. Yeah, because this will be an interesting test for the vertical spinner. I have a better test for the vertical spinner coming later in this video. I just wanted to bring Axe backwards back for a second for a second video in this thing. And that's kind of the main purpose, at least. Oh, what the? Axe backwards just ripped that wedge off like it was nothing. Oh my gosh, that is a game changer. Oh my gosh, and we just out of the arena dax backwards. Just holy crap, like one charge and axe backwards ripped off that wet. The entire wedge. That was that was fun enough to where I, I wanna go round two with this fight too, and I'm just driving right through it and I don't think I recall the vertical spinner ever being used during the 2018 season, at least. Uh, I could be wrong, though, because I don't remember Ultimo Destructo's fights all that well, other than, like, the Valkyrie, the Parallax, and the Witch Doctor fight. But, but yeah. Oh, boy. Okay, let's... Oh, we got a wheel this time. Oh boy, we lost part of our wedge once again. We are doing some more damage to Axe backwards this time. Hey! Even though I think a lot of that was just because of Axe backwards. Axe backwards crazy gyro. <laughs> what a shot to get Axe backwards out of the arena like that. But, but yeah, that, that just shows, though, all the damage Axe Backwards was able to do in, like, both those matchups to the Wedge. Just shows that Ultimo Destructo is 
pretty delicate, so. But, reasonable job from it, so. Anyway, we're gonna move on. We're gonna bring back the flipper configuration for its second matchup, and we're gonna take on a big horizontal spinner in Ice Wave. There's a reason why I went with some of some easier opponents first. We're gonna have some harder opponents for these next four matchups, so. Yeah, let's go ahead and get this thing underway. Heh! <laughs> well, that's it! Holy... Oh my gosh. Okay, I want to go for the out of the arena. Because it's no fun just to... It's no fun just to do that. Well, I'm sure, sure some teams would just hang back right after flipping Ice Wave. Like that, even if it was that early in the match, just to avoid damage. But this isn't battle bots. This is, yeah, this is Green Square playing Robot Arena 2, basically. And I play by a whole, I play by a whole different set of rules. It's not my money that's being used to repair these robots in this game. Even if it costs me this match, whatever. Oh gosh, and I am struggling to outwedge Ice Wave now. Which, oh, we're getting underneath them now. Come on, come on, let's get the out of the arena. Oh man. Come on, come on. Oh man, and we just helped Ice Wave out again. Huh, another flip at least. Jeez, Ice Wave just isn't doing a lot of damage. I wonder if this version is... This version seems to be a bit tankier than some of the others, because like, Ice Wave is definitely capable of doing some big time damage. And all that fun stuff, and... Just makes me think that oh boy did we just have a crash yes we did oh man yeah what i said wasn't really getting anywhere at least in that match so i think we're gonna move on at least and yeah once i get everything set up we're gonna bring back the hammer configuration of ultimo destructo where it is going to take on another hammer bot and extinguisher I always, I always love a good hammer on hammer battle. We don't get a lot of them in battle bots, unfortunately. Like, the closest one to a hammer battle I believe we've gotten in the past few seasons, because I don't think we've had a hammer battle in a long time, would be a Shatter and Blacksmith last season, which Blacksmith is technically an overhead spinner, but, uh, but in a way, it's still technically a hammer. Oh boy. We are already smoking. Jeez, I wish this robot was more maneuverable. I have no idea what happened, but can definitely say this game broke the laws of physics again, which it does all the time, so. Okay, oh, that's probably a couple pieces of us. What happened? Well, another crash right there. Uh, I'd say let's go again in that fight. Let's go again with Ultimo Destructo's hammer config, taking out Extinguisher. And yeah, because I, th I think it'd be fun to get a round two. And with that doubt, so... Let the war begin. I kind of just had to say that because, like, it's basically a hammer on hammer warfare of a fight, basically. 
Oh boy, and we're smoking again. Oh gosh. Oh what? Oh, that was entire. That was entire rockets thing. Oh, and extinguisher slipped. And extinguisher. Fortunately, can't self right with the hammer configuration. But I'm gonna help Extinguisher, because Hammer on Hammer Warfare is fun, and I want to put more dents into the top or bottom of Extinguisher, or at least try to. So I wish this robot was more maneuverable. It's great that there are multiple weapon configs. It's great that Charlie made four weapon configs for Extinguisher, or not Extinguisher, Ultimo Destructo. There are two weapon configurations for Extinguisher. As you saw, if you've seen some of the other videos. And extinguisher stuck again. I want to see if I can get a wheel or something. We need to do more damage. Oh, oh boy, extinguisher is back up. Oh gosh, and they took out the entire the other set of rockets. Oh gosh, and extinguisher went through the ceiling. My hammer is so powerful that it sent extinguishers through the ceiling, or one of the rockets shot off. Maybe one of the, maybe this set of rockets, maybe one rocket shot off, went to the bottom of an extinguisher, and then sent it flying to the ceiling or something. I don't know, but uh, we'll just call it for that one, and we're gonna move on to the last two fights. We're just, same fight technically, because we're gonna do Ultimo Destructo first Ribot. And Ribot does have two configurations, and they're both in AI form. So I thought, let's do a horizontal on horizontal battle, and a vertical spinner on vertical spinner battle between Ultimo Destructo and Ribot. So I think the vertical spinner one will be more interesting, so we're going to do the horizontal configuration first. I wanted to bring Ribot back as well for another one, and I think I think this would be a good, good fight for it. A good video for it. At least getting to show off both of it, both of Ribot's configurations. So, yeah, I have a feeling this one's probably gonna be the more boring one of the two of them. But we're gonna find out. Oh gosh, and Ribot got a wheel. Jeez, and holy crap, Ultimo Destructo's movement really gets compromised right, when I, when when it loses even one single wheel. This is really problematic already. Gosh, I think it's a matter of time before Ribot gets another wheel. Yeah, I had no way thought I was going to win this fight. I had no way thought I was going to win as many fights as I did. Because I, I would say I've won, I've been winning more fights than I thought I was going to as Ultimo Destructo. Which I am pretty happy with. Even though it is possible a lot of that might be because of the AIs. Uh, like, it's still pretty incredible. Dang, I wish I could turn a lot faster than this, but it turns out losing a wheel really makes things hard for us. Jeez, I can't move with Ribot on the top of me like this. I think we high-centered Ribot, though. Oh, we got a wheel. All right. So now we are semi-even on mobility. Oh, we took an eye off Ribot. We need to get a second wheel or something. It's definitely helped that Ribot's been on its head for a lot of this, because I think the height of Ribot's vertical spinner compared to Ultimo Destructo, whose height is hurting Ribot's chances of being able to bite into me with the vertical, with the horizontal spinner. Come on, Ribot, back off, please. Yeah, I literally can't move. I can't turn myself to try to get a better position on Ribot. this so that way rip the AI will hopefully release me or 
forgot. Hey, we got another wheel. Okay. We got another wheel in the last 10 seconds, but Rivot's gonna end this pinning us. And... Oh, man. That, that was a struggle fest of a fight ever since I lost that wheel right there. Jeez, Ultimate Destructor really relies on having four wheels, at least in this game. But we're gonna move on where it's gonna be vertical spinner on vertical spinner. We're gonna see how this goes. I have a feeling how this one's gonna go, but you never know. It might go differently than I think it will. Many of these fights have gone differently than I thought they would, so. Oh boy, yeah, this is semi going how I thought it was going to, because Ribot definitely got the first hit, but then ended up getting popped up into the air enough. And... Oh gosh, oh gosh, leave me alone. <laughs> Ribot, leave me alone. No, oh, we knocked an eye off. Oh gosh, and we are flipped over. And we're about to take pieces off the wedge. Oh gosh, and the entire wedge is now, or most of, like 80% of the wedge is now gone. Oh gosh, and now I think they want the rest of it, but we flip. Or temporarily flipped Ribot. Oh gosh, oh gosh, Ribot's now really taking us apart. Oh boy, we lost a wheel. Not good, this is not going so well. I kind of expected Ultimo was probably going to get his butt kicked in this one, but hey, well, Ribot can't see now. What it's doing to me is just crashed the game and. Uh, seeing how much time has been spent in this video, I think let's go round two, because why not? Even though I think I'm probably going to get destroyed once again, but whatever. I think maybe it's entertaining to, for y'all to watch me get destroyed by the AI or something. I don't know. Great. Round two between between the vert on vert battle between Ultimo Destructo and Ribot. Okay, oh gosh, oh gosh, and I almost got out of the arena right there. Oh gosh, oh gosh, and oh my gosh, they, the entire wedge is now gone. That was a, that, that was, that, that was a non-pleasant 20 seconds. I, what was that right there? I'm gonna guess that was part of the weapon pulley or something. Oh gosh, I think I think I lost all the teeth on the vertical spinner right there. Okay, I slightly move. Oh boy, yeah, we've lost almost all the weapon, all the teeth on the weapon. I don't think we're gonna be able to do much damage from there. Oh gosh, and yep, there went the entire weapon or most of it. Looks like we still have. A small bit of it, but I don't think I don't think we're gonna last much longer here. As Ultimo Destructo right now is giving us an absolute butt whooping in this fight. Oh boy, oh boy. Or Ribot's giving us a butt whooping in this fight. I, Ultimo Destructo is taking a beating. As it, oh gosh, oh man. We've lost the entire weapon system. We can drive pretty well now, but oh boy. I'm trying to think of what robot this reminds me of from the Comedy Central Battlebots era. Uh, geez, there's one robot that reminds me of. I'm trying to think of who that was, but oh, game crash right there, and uh, I'd say let's just go ahead and call it a night. So uh, yeah, once again, thanks for watching this video. Hopefully you enjoyed this Ultimo Destructo themed video, basically. And enjoyed check, uh, enjoyed watching me explore the four Ultimo Destructo configurations and yeah so be sure to leave a like and 
like on this video and subscribe for more content because there will be a couple more RE2 videos introducing this content. But th those won't be the last RE2 videos because I do plan to do a War Machine season on the new Battle Bots pack. So, uh, anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.